At 35, Germán Valcarce is one of Argentina's youngest rising stars of the biotech industry. With dozens of employees, most under the age of 30, Valcarce's company Delta Biotech exports high-priced, state-of-the-art drugs to clients around the world. This is Siloprost. It's a product that is used for uh, uh, pulmonary hypertension. And actually, our price for this product is over 100,000 US dollars per gram. The origin of Delta Biotech is every young scientist's dream. While writing his thesis in his 20s, Herman made what turned out to be an important discovery, how to turn bad cholesterol in milk and eggs into something good, provitamin D. This was my first project, and it was like a baby. So I really like this project. The problem is how to finance the project in Argentina. Although Germán's discovery received international acclaim, no one wanted to invest in Argentina in 2001, during what was the country's worst economic crisis in the last 50 years. Germán decided to form his own biotech company in 2003. Luckily, it was a time when government support for innovation had never been stronger. Dr. Lino Barañao, himself a biochemist, was appointed Argentina's first Minister of Science and Technology. And armed with a significant budget, he launched a tireless crusade. For, for most people, it's not easy to understand why we should invest in science and technology, what's the real value. It sounds like a luxury activity, kind of sport that some clever people play, usually in big cities. But it's, nowadays, it's, it's clear, unless you develop science and technology, you won't have quality jobs. The biggest support for Baranel's vision came from the Inter-American Development Bank in the form of a $280 million loan, the largest in science and technology in the bank's history. These funds have been used to cultivate a wide range of innovation, from chemical sciences and IT to forestry, all with the aim of creating strong competitors in the technology revolution. In Latin America, I think we have been a little delayed. We have been a little late to that revolution and we are still paying the cost of it. We are going to face new dramatic technology changes and we have to be prepared. Unless we get a, a good technological level right now, we will be in a very weak position when these uh, new changes uh, come up. In the past, many of Argentina's best and brightest in science and technology have had to go abroad to look for opportunity, creating what's known as a brain drain. But now with this new strong support for innovation, the idea is that the brains who have left Argentina will have a reason to come back, and that those who are here will be inspired to stay. With over a million dollars invested in equipment and a rapidly growing clientele, Germán Valcarce and his company are not just staying in Argentina, they're thriving. Well, basically, I would like to be in Argentina. I would like to perform the project here. Even we would like to make our company as an international company, a a globalized company. Once an unlikely long shot, Delta Biotech is now leading the way. And for new up and coming innovators, proof that a scientist's dream can be within reach.